what is going on YouTube Lamont at large coming to you from Ascension Cemetery here in Lake Forest California we're about an hour south of downtown Los Angeles California I wanted to stop by and pay my respects to Nicole Brown if you don't know who she is uh, you may not have even been born at the time uh, one of the most famous murders that ever occurred in the United States history uh, she was killed July 3rd 1994 uh we're quickly approaching the uh 26th uh, anniversary uh in two days it'll be the 26th year anniversary of her killing and her along with uh, ron goldman were uh brutally butchered uh, right outside her condo on uh, bundy drive which is in west los angeles and this is her grave right here, Nicole Brown Simpson, His strength and compassion is instilled in all of our lives. That's for her uh, father, Louis H. Brown, and above her name is always in our hearts. Somebody appears to have left a penny. In a couple of days, I'm imagining somebody uh, from her family will be here um, to put flowers down for her marker. Uh, she's uh, buried next to this tree right here. Uh, really quickly, I just want to say a couple things. I just want to say a couple things. I, even though this murder was legally, uh, when it comes to the criminal side of things, not solved, uh, we all know that uh, O.J. Simpson uh, butchered this woman along with Ron Goldman. Let's just call it what it is. I pull no punches. If you know me or if you've ever spoken to me in real life, you know how I am. You know how I am. I don't tiptoe around things such like this right here. No, this woman was murdered. And uh, when I did uh, some community service at the coroner's office, one of the examiners that was uh, present during her autopsy told me that the only thing that was keeping her head on her body was her spinal cord. Um, wasn't a quite a knife. When we think of uh, the knife that O.J. Simpson used to kill her, we probably think like a, a kitchen knife or maybe even a butcher knife. No, this was no knife. This was almost like a some kind of a medieval uh, dagger type weapon. I mean, this was almost a small sword that was used uh, to uh, brutally, uh, and I use the word butcher uh, in this sense, uh, butcher this woman. Um, a, a murder that... Uh, the evidence was uh, pretty clear and precise that the uh, blame was put on O.J. Simpson. And sorry, guys. You know, there is no such thing as just at the wrong place at the wrong time. No, there is no such thing. When it comes to murder, there is no wrong place, wrong time. It's just murder. That's all it is. It's just murder. And the only reason why he got off, guys, just call it what it is, a racist jury. A racist jury hell-bent on getting back for the LAPD officers who brutally beat Rodney King. That was their revenge, and I know this for a fact. I know this for a fact. So... Any of you, the jurors, will ever see this video, congratulations. I hope you feel good for yourselves. You're high-fiving yourselves when you lay down the verdict. Yeah, good job, guys. Good job. Talk about a miscarriage of justice. And he got away with murder. He got away with two of them. I felt horrible, even as a kid, you know, I felt horrible for her sister, you know, and the family and the kids <laughs> and OJ Simpson being a conniving, manipulative, narcissistic ego bag. Got some other choice words from him. Not going to use them on this channel has probably brainwashed those kids into thinking that, Hey, daddy didn't do this. The real killer quote unquote is out there, but those kids being grown adults. Now I'm pretty damn sure they know that their father killed their mother and to have to live with that, have to go out in public and people recognize you and point and stare and say, like, look at what kind of family uh, he or she came from and what kind of mental anguish uh, a little boy. I think he was six years old, eight years old and the daughter, 10, the kids, 
their mother brutally killed and, and, and they have to go through that for the rest of their lives, still having a relationship with their father. And then when they go to sleep at night, as grown adults, they know who did it. Come on. And Ron Goldman should have never even been there. I'm not going to say wrong place, wrong time. Nicole forgot her glasses. The restaurant that where she was at was about two blocks away. So he just went by to drop her glasses off. And just by happen chance, that occurred. Lying in wait, maybe. It would take a man of great strength, uh, you know, because Ron Goldman, he was in pretty good shape himself. And to die like that, I mean, yeah, we all know. We all know who, who killed you. So rest easy, my dear. She was only 35, too. It's so weird, me being almost 41 years old. Uh, it's just odd that, you know, you think of these people like adults. You think that they're older than you. And then when you come here, you know, you've lived a longer life than they did. But uh, rest in peace and just know for the fact that no sane adult, no rational adult doesn't believe that OJ killed you. All right, rest in peace to... Nicole Brown. I wish that name were not on the stone. I'm not going to call her by that last name. Okay, guys. I got to go. Lamont at large. I'm signing out. Peace.